Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Google Chrome version 130 now becoming available, which started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 15th. And this is our latest version upgrade. Now to check you have version 130, let's head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. Latest version in build 130.0.6723.58 or 59 either or on Windows, Mac or Linux running version 130 means your browser is up to date and is fully patched. Now just to focus uh, first of all on the security updates that have rolled out. So for this week and with version 130 we get 17 security fixes that have been made available. And thankfully there are no zero days being exploited in the wild and there are no critical vulnerabilities this week. We only get one high severity flaw and then we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows and the high severity flaw is common a common exploit use after free and um, this one is use after free in AR so 17 security fixes have been made available in total now just to focus on what's new in version 130 and as I mentioned previously with my video I posted last week regarding the early stable that rolled out um, um, last week the Chrome platform status um, does not have anything interesting regarding front-facing features or anything I think would be of any um, you know interest to your average home user. It's really just developer um, improvements taking place under the hood. But I have noticed two changes which we'll have a look at. And the first is quite a significant change which has been in preview now for quite some time, um, almost a year or so I would say, which I've been posting on extensively and has now finally made its way into stable where you can now organize your tabs using AR. So if we head up to our search tabs in the top left, over and above your all tabs, which lets you search your tabs, see your open tabs and your recently closed tabs, you now get organized tabs and that's going to be using AR. And it says stay organized with tab groups. And when you first open this feature after updating, it will give you a little bit of a, um, a update regarding what's going to be happening when you use this feature. So um, a bit of a change log. So just take note of that. And then just to give you a brief example of what's going on with this organized tabs using AR, because I have covered this quite extensively um, on the channel. So if I just open up two tabs, just as a simple example for my YouTube channel and we head back to that and you click on check now that's using AR grouping your tabs and there we go and it's called it Brent Tech and um, I can create the group but just take note here it says your tab titles and URLs are sent to Google and may be seen by human reviewers to improve this feature so just take note of that and it is an experimental feature, so it may not always get it right according to Google. So you click on that. You can obviously rename that uh, tab group. And there you go. And there's my Brent Tech tab group that's been created using AR. And just another example, if you right click on a tab, you also see it's placed organized similar tabs into the right click context menu. And the same applies. There we go and you get the idea and you can create that group. So that's just a little brief example of what um, creating tab groups automatically using AR is all about and that's now starting to become available in version 130 and it seems like it is rolling out now across the board because I have noticed on both my devices with Google Chrome and it is now available. So that's organized tabs, it's part of search tabs now with version 130. And then just a small little change um, that's been noted if you are using Google Chrome as your default PDF viewer on Windows. So for this, I'm just going to head into my file explorer, head over to documents. I have noticed today that they've changed the icon for a PDF file if you are using Google Chrome. So it's, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see what this is all about. There we go. You get the idea. So the, um, PDF icon now has been changed only if you are using Google Chrome um, obviously um, on a Windows OS and you would just double click on that or just click open and that opens up your PDF as always in Google Chrome. So those are just two little changes I've spotted. So guys that's more or less um, what's going on in version 130. Quite a light release, only 
17 security fixes with one high severity floor, organized tabs using AR, and then that little change to that PDF icon if you are using Google Chrome as your default PDF viewer. And over and above that, I'm not noticing anything else when it comes to front-facing features. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.